In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how you can make customizations to individual videos. So you will see at the bottom of every video template, there is a little teeny tiny pencil. If you, if you click on that, sorry, anytime you do scroll over the videos, it will play in preview mode. So sorry for the sound. But you can go ahead and just click on the pencil and you'll see here all of the options you have to customize in this video. You're able to select different music. You are able to select different products. You can add multiple products into one single video. Um, just a note, every template is different and it will have different limits to the amount of images or products that you can put into that specific template. As you play around with the interface, you'll get to know templates um, and you know, if you're wanting to put like five, six or seven products in a video, you're going to get familiar with the templates that will allow you to do that. And you may use those, um, you know, over and over. I typically, you like to use the same template over and over again. Um, here, you're able to also customize colors in your videos, fonts and the text. So we're going to go ahead and just click on music first. So if you click on music here, you're able to adjust the music. And if you'd like to preview a track, you just hit the little button that looks like a, like a play button. And when you find one that you like, you just click on it and you'll see it's selected in pink with a check mark. And then you would just hit apply. And then what Mint is going to do, it's going to add that music into the template for you. Next, we will look at the products customization. Here, this is where you are able to add additional products like I was mentioning earlier. You'll see here it says selected one out of six. So this specific template would allow you to add up to six products. So if you'd like to add another product, all you would do is click in the box and then start typing the name. Since this is a Christmas outfit, maybe I'm wanting to do a Christmas ad. So I will search for other outfits that are also Christmas outfits in my store. All you have to do when you find one that you'd like to use is click on it and then you'll see it's going to add it here and now it'll say selected two out of six. You're able to change just by grabbing it with a little hand, change the order that those will appear in your video as well. Now, if you'd like to select the specific images that Minta will use from your product listing for that product, you just hit the images tab and you'll see here, it's going to then bring in images from your product listings for all of the products that you have selected. And then you'll see here that it's telling you, okay, you have three out of three images allowed. So for this product, you're allowed three images, this product, you're allowed three images. As you add more products, that will change. Um, you can see here very finely, there is a pink highlighted box around the images that Minta will currently be using. If you would like to change any of those, you just simply select on the image to deselect it and then go click on another image that you want to use for your video. And again, you would do the same thing here. Just unselect the one you don't want to use and then select the one you want and hit apply. And now Minta will remake the video with those new images. I'll go ahead and do a once over preview just so you can kind of see that. So as you can see, it's using all of the images that I was asking it to use. Next we will click on the colors tab. So right now the colors that the videos are all created with are the colors that are in your brand kit. But if you'd like to adjust colors for a singular video, we have suggested color combinations here, or you can click on custom and you're able to actually click and select your own colors. We're going to go ahead and just select a pretty red and white because it's Christmassy and then hit apply. And then now Minta is going to adjust the uh, colors of the video to these colors. And again, it only takes a few seconds for it to reformulate the video. And now you can see it is in the new color combo that we picked. 
go ahead and click on the pencil again and this is where you're able to change your fonts here you would just click the font that it currently is using and you can change it to any font here in the menu and let's go ahead and let's just click this one here you will hit apply and now it will update the text in the video to this new font and you can see the font has been changed the last thing is the actual text so this is what it actually says in the video so as you can see it says from sixteen dollars it's pulling the price data from the actual website um, there will be sometimes suggestions here you're able to edit those suggested text or you can click on the custom button and you'll see here there is a character limit so it's telling you for this specific video the character limit right there is 15 characters all you would do is deselect the text and say, type in whatever you would like. So we can type in Christmas joy here and then hit apply. And then it's going to adjust the text of this video. And you can do this for any video created by just simply clicking on the little pencil button and customize your videos exactly how you would like.